Hi everyone, Gray Power 60 here. So this is my old washi tape. This is an old container that I've had forever. And I never used these washi tape. I don't know why. I, I've only just started using some lately. And I'm looking through all of this and I'm thinking, I wonder how many work. How many are old and won't come apart. Some of them probably really easy and some of them probably stuck forever. I don't know. Those, I think I'm just going to throw them out. I'm not even going to try to save them. So here we are, and I thought, what can I do with it? So I took a piece of paper that I had, this extra scrap paper that I had, and I decided, well, you know what? Maybe I can just glue down some washi strips, just strips, and um, I thought I would use my um, my stick glue, I was going to say. My, oh my gosh, I'm not thinking tonight. My stick glue <laughs> and a glue uh, book. I have an extra magazine there that I'm going to use. So I'm, this is a, a brand new washi that I've never used. I think I got them at Michael's. They were on sale. They were for Valentine's Day. So I thought, what the heck? I'm going to start with that and see, you know, about how long they're going to be. And uh, later on in the video, you'll see that I decided to cut this paper in half so it wasn't so much. Maybe use different colors. So I'm just snipping it off there to see, and then I'm going to take it off and add some um, glue stick. <laughs> stick glue, I call it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put it on the magazine here, and the darn thing wasn't cooperating. It was curling all over the place, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh. One of the other things that I thought of afterwards was that perhaps um, I should have used wet glue. I think later on I'll show you that um, I do use some wet glue. Just makes a little more sense. I just the stick glue is so quick and easy to put on. But I find that the stick glue works really well with the new washi that we're getting, you know, from China or from wherever we're getting them. Um, because they're thinner and they're stickier and I find that the glue stick works better whereas these are older um, a little bit thicker paper kind of the original washi tapes and so I'm finding that um, that they glue down better with um, a wet glue which I discover later on so you're just going to watch me. I'm just going to strip some off and I'm going to glue them down. I rather had fun with this. Mom was being difficult today and um, while she was having her breakfast is when I was doing this. And of course the TV's on so hence the voiceover. I always seem to do the voiceovers when I want to get a video done quickly and um, I want to do something during the day where the lighting is a little bit better and uh, I can, you know, kind of play around. So here you're seeing me. I'm going to cut it down to, um, because it's a 12, uh, 12 inch page, I'm cutting it down to six. So it's basically half, half size. And I thought, well, I'll just use one for later and I'll use one now and I'm using the white side because some of the washi I knew was going to be a little bit uh, transparent here I'm folding it over and I know it's not going to stick very well I think eventually I do cut them off or I I use some um, liquid glue to hold them down and the back has got a little bit of pattern on it so that I, you know, if I want to use this anywhere, I've already got a backing for it. I have such pretty washi, but I don't, I don't have the prettiness gene. 
<laughs> whatever you want to call it in me that um, can make pretty pinks and things like I mean I like it I love pink is my favorite color it's like shabby chic I don't I don't have that knack you know to add the right combination papers and washi and lace and all of that kind of stuff so right now I'm trying to find the end and uh, because it's brand new and it's a little better quality than some of my old washi um, later on you're going to see me try and and just decide that I'm going to throw it out I'm not even going to try to save it there's no point um, it could have been something I bought at the Dollar Tree could have been something I picked up who knows where because these a lot of these are older and a couple of those in the beginning the heart shaped ones and the valentine ones those ones are new but yeah i i don't know why i don't have that girly knack to put pretty things together i mean i'm doing it here but that's just because that's the washi i have but it's it's kind of random it's not like something I planned. It's just something I just grab one and put it on there and just hope for the best. You'll notice a couple of these I didn't put any glue on. Um, I decided to uh, put some wet glue on it later on. I, I think I might have cut that part out. I'm not sure. So now I'm just, you know, just deciding which ones. I'm going to make it all kind of pinks and reds and just use all the patterned ones that I have. Some of them came off really easy and some of them, I think this is one of the ones that is, it, it's just, it's so sticky, it's just too much trouble to even try. But I just wanted to get you, get, you know, rather than glue them all down, I wanted to give you an idea of, of how we can take the washi and randomly put them together. And then eventually this can be cut up into different, um, you can use different punches for different like hearts and circles and stars and whatever, or you can use them like uh, tags or... You know, if you wanted to put it in a journal, you could use it as a um, tuck spot or a belly band. So there's so many uses for them, but it's kind of nice. I think what Carrie the Crafter calls it, it's, it's um, a mask make. In other words, mass as a a m a s s mass make where you're making a lot of one thing um, whether it be all tags all um, tickets all um, just background master boards you know things like that if you make a whole lot of them maybe using the um, a collage style you can make all kinds of things with them. So I've done with that one. And like I say, I didn't glue them all down. Some of them were pretty sticky, but as you can see, they're pretty uh, easy to come off. And I was using glue stick mm -hmm. for a while, but I find that the glue stick was just not working as well. And I... And like I said, I think the glue stick works well on the stickier, thin ones that we get today rather than these older, um, thicker washi. And I find that the liquid glue works a little bit better. So we're just going to continue on here. I'm just going to lift up a few again. Um, and some of them actually ripped the paper. I think that one did rip the paper a little bit so I decided to just kind of leave it but some of them come off quite easily so I'm just continuing on with my glue stick and I'm wondering if how many of you have 
what kind of ideas do you have if you do a, a strip like this on a page of all kinds of washi how would you use it what would you do with it now here I'm going to be gluing down the little ends you know you could easily just cut them off I have no idea why I decided to glue them down You know, sometimes when you're doing something, you come up with some ideas and then you regret the idea that you had. <laughs> so we're just pressing them down. I'll, um, I don't know if I can reduce the noise in the background of my microphone, but um, it is so hot this week. It's in like the low 30s. And I do not do well in heat, so I've got a fan on that's on me. It's right on my back, cooling off the wetness. So now I am trying something different. I'm getting rid of the glue book. Well, actually, I'm just using it for under this. And I decided to glue the whole thing down with my glue stick. I thought if I just spread it all around and... Um, then put the washi on I thought that might work it does work in a way but the glue stick does dry fast so you know I'm saying here you could use different kinds of glue and I or Mod Podge and I like my uh, tacky glue I, I think I still have some art glitter glue but it's way too expensive and you know what for gluing this works just as well as Elmer's glue I find this one works a little bit better a little faster it kind of holds quicker than some of the Elmer's glue but um, that's my preference uh, lately I find that things stay they don't come apart like with some of the other glues that I've used in the past so here's another one I think I had trouble with I'm not mistaken and I just said no to heck with it I'm not even gonna bother it is just so stuck together and I know some of you have given me some great tips on how to unstick it but you know what it's not worth the trouble you know if I was doing an experiment and was gonna do a video on it maybe I would show you but oh I changed my mind so the other one was pink a lot of pinks this one here I decided to use blue and different shades of blue I think blue and green if I'm not mistaken but just different shades of blue of wherever I have so much and I'm never going to use it all and it kind of just sits there and I think I've only just started using uh, washi tape a little more often than before but I think that's because of the introduction to um, some of the uh, antique or vintage looking Chinese looking um, I'm, I speed it up here so you didn't have to watch me forever um, washi the washi that we get from China now the, the thin one and there's thicker ones the wider ones rather not the thicker the wider and they're much better made now I find and they seem to stick a lot better so there we go there is one this time I, I flipped over one side and decided to cut off this side you know just showing you the difference one way or another occasionally through this video I do um, speed up the video so that you don't have to watch it or I cut out clips where it's just boring and I think I'm going to start putting away all my washi now and get rid of that out of the way and show you a few things that I decided to do yeah nope I'm not keeping that I'm not gonna I <laughs> I was determined to try I really was <laughs> I said the heck with it so we've got the blue one with the with the wet um, glue and the pink one has the um, more I think I put in some I put some wet glue on it but most of it is the uh, glue stick 
and I found that it didn't stick down as well. I think I put too, you know, I didn't put enough or maybe, as I said before, I think it's just because the washi is thicker. And you're just going to watch me now, see as I lift it up and, and decide to where it's going to come up easily. I'm going to glue underneath that. I'm kind of showing you that I just glued down on the ends, but wherever it was easy to lift off, basically, I'm just putting wet glue underneath. Now, what is she going to do with that? I'm sure you're wondering what I'm going to do with these strips. I kind of like to know myself. <laughs> All right, so I think I think I've sort of gone through a few of them to make sure that they all stuck together. And this one here was the wet glue and I think it's almost ready to be used. So I'm putting this away to come out another day. Now what I decided to use was some punches and I'm putting some paper underneath just in case the glue is still wet and it affects my punch. Sometimes, you know, it gets sticky, but as it turns out, my two inch punch worked really well. It just, and I decided to do that with this wash. I mean, I've got so much of it. Um, I decided to um, do different sizes circles. And of course the bonus is that I've got an extra, because I put a paper underneath, I've got an extra circle there. And rather than waste the paper, I decided to take it off and try it and see if my um, punches will work okay. This was an end piece and I thought, you know what, it's a square. I can keep that and use it for a cluster. It would really work well. Again, I'm speeding it up, just punching out a bunch of holes I'm using the one inch circle punch. I'm also using the uh, scalloped edge one and a half punch and my two inch punch. And also what I'm doing, at least I think I'll be doing that in a second if I haven't already, I've forgotten. Um, I take some little pieces and do um, punch out half circles. Maybe it's only with the, the pink one I did that, I, I don't recall. It was this morning, I don't remember. Kind of wondering if it's going to punch okay because some of it was still wet. And it's just being silly. That one actually popped right onto the floor. <laughs> so it was popping out okay. And I hate to waste paper. So what I do and I might show you here in a second. What I might do is make um, a half one, or it could be later on. And I just snip these pieces off because I don't need them. I don't need to keep them. Now somebody might say, oh, you could use that for something, but nah, can't be bothered. So I'm gonna try our two inch punch here. Isn't it fun watching somebody doing some punching? How boring. Sorry it's boring. I did edit out quite a bit. Now here I'm doing a half, um, sort of a half, maybe three quarters. Because sometimes you want to have a little half piece um, on the side of a page or if you happen to be making, um, you know, a side pocket or something. They're always handy. Again, I'm trimming it off again so that I can get my punch to fit in there a little bit better. Oh, that fan feels good. Oh, gosh. So I had to go to the hospital with my uh, son. I had to get him from work a little early because his son was complaining of not feeling well and stomach pains and chest pains or something and, you know, and they checked them all over. I went and picked them up and brought them home afterwards. It was about five hour wait. Um, I don't like going into children's hospital. 
makes me too sad to see those sweet little babies and little kids being sick or hurt or whatever. I'm too much of a softie, I think. But he's fine. He's got an ear infection and uh, a pulled muscle. So he must have uh, done some stretching or whatever. And uh, yeah, he's okay. So here I'm just cutting off the ends. And I know there's a little bit left. And I thought I, this is where, again, I can make some half pieces. You can always use those half pieces in all kinds of different um, clusters. They're kind of fun to have and it saves you from doing them when you're looking for them. So now that I got that all done and I got all these little pieces, um, some of them I noticed they're not, see they're not sticking that well so I'm going to take a little bit of glue and put it underneath there. And that's okay because even in time maybe the glue might lift in different areas. Ah, you just glue it back on. It's no big deal. So I'm going to take all of these circle punches that I've got. I didn't bring anything else out. Um, as I said, my room's a mess and having to find things is going to be a real pain. But I'm going to be able to take all of these circle punches and uh, put them in a little, actually I usually put them in a little baggie and have them handy so that when I decide to create something with a little more pinks and blues, I'll have that available. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.